For this problem, we're going to look at number 13 out of module number two. And this problem is asking us to, to state the domain, the vertical asymptotes, and the end behavior of the given function here, h of x equals negative log of 2x minus 3 plus 2. So for this question that we definitely know that the logarithmic function is only defined when the input is positive. So that means we have to have the input 2x minus 3 must be positive, so it must be greater than 0. So the first thing we want to do is solve for that portion. So we can <clears throat> add 3 to both sides to get us 2x is greater than 3. Then we'll want to divide both sides by 2 to give us that x must be um, greater than 3 halves. Okay. So when we have um, that, then that would give us then a domain where our domain is, we have to be, x has to be greater than 3 halves. So it can be anywhere from greater than 3 halves all the way out to infinity. That'll also give us our vertical asymptote. At the value where X is equal to 3 halves. Okay. So the next thing that we want to do is kind of sketch out what that's going to look like. So if we put 2 up into our function here. Um, we're going to get a value. Um, remember, we're going to land on that asymptote. So the first thing that we'll do here is we will go ahead and draw our asymptote in here at this value, which is three halves. So roughly around one and a half. Okay. Doesn't have to be exact. This is here. Just you don't have to do the graph for this problem. I'm just drawing it out graphically to help us visualize um, the um, end behavior of this function. Okay. So at, um, sorry, at, um, let's say when we plug in the value of three in here into our um, function. So when we plug in two, we're going to get a value somewhere over here really close to 2. And when we plug in a value of 3, we'll get somewhere around 1 and a half. Um, when we plug in the value of 4, it's around like 1.3. And this is just plugging in the value into that whole function and getting a solution. And 5 is around 1.1, so it's still real small. But you'll see as we get larger and larger, we're going to approach that asymptote, right? That line that we can't cross. And then we're going to continue on into infinity for our x value um, at some point. And if we were to actually put into, um, if we were actually to evaluate h to the um, 50th power, right? That's a really, 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 really large number so x to this like astronomically large number in our calculators that would be we'd put negative log then we'd put parentheses two times 10 raised to the 50th power minus off our three close the parentheses and add two when you hit enter, you'll see that that's like negative 48.3010. So you'll see that as we get really, really, really large in our X value, our Y value is approaching that negative value, okay? And so why that is important is because as X approaches positive infinity, right? So we're getting larger and larger and larger values of x, then our log of x approaches positive infinity, okay? And thus, our h of x 
approaches negative infinity. So the solution of our whole entire function goes to negative infinity. Okay. 